brought back, like for real, for real, it's like that's family. So he the six black hippie. Now nah, real talk, mm. like whenever you think about going to a Mac session, it's like going to your favorite cousin session, like a favorite cousin house. Mm. It's like it's always gonna be a good time. Like, I have nothing but praises, you know. R.I.P. to my brother. Yeah, brother. For real. It's a good time because it's like he's like the little cousin he used to crack jokes with. Put him in a exactly. noogie, you know, put him in a headlock, you know. Give him noogies. Yeah, I love Mac, man. You know, I mixed uh, I mixed his uh, Divine Feminine album. Right, that was uh, so we, man. That was one of man. In my opinion, one of his, some of his best work. And what about you, take? Because I know you you worked on a uh, on the, on the swimming album. Yeah, swimming and Divine Feminine actually. Right, Small Worlds. Yeah. What was that uh, whole session like? That whole process. Um, Small Worlds actually started off as a record called Don't Try This at Home. Mm. Um, it was a lot faster than than you know what it uh, turned out as the final uh, product, uh, but I kept hearing it different. Um, you know, it had a lot of stuff on it too. It was just a lot of sounds. I took a lot of stuff out, slowed it down, played it for him, and then he recorded a new record, which mm. was uh, Small Worlds. Um, changed you know some of the verses or whatever, and um, he sat on it for a while. We did another record with John Bryan. Mm. And then he called me and said, hey, John Mayer is going to play on oh, wow. Small World. Are you cool with that? I'm like, what the type of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course. Like, John Mayer, bro. It's nuts. Um, but, man, we worked a lot, actually, uh, towards the end of the project. We did another record um, a couple of weeks prior uh, to his passing. We yanked the call game four. Mm. Um, but he was, he was a real cool dude, man. Just really chill, really polite. Right. Really polite, um, yeah. You know, he, he kept you in tune on what was going on. You know what I mean? If he changed something on the record, he'll call you and say, hey, I changed this. You're cool with it. Um, so, you know, I, re I respected him a lot for that.